Hi, this is Philip, and I'm here to show you the uh, full suite of EFX Keying Alpha plugins for After Effects. So let's begin with uh, Alpha Math plugin. It's basically a, a way of uh, doing mathematical operations on two alphas of two separate layers. So we've got the layer one, that's this one. Uh, layer two, that's this one, as you can see. This one's uh, have a keyed out woman. This one has a keyed out man. And as an, a second layer, we select the second image. And look what we can do now uh, for operation none. We don't do anything. Replace is get uh, takes the alpha from the second layer and applies it to the first layer, disregarding the uh, first layer's uh, alpha. Add both alphas. Uh, take only the parts that are uh, opaque in both of them. One minus the other, the other minus the, the first one, uh, and just mathematical averaging between those two alphas. Uh, we can, of course, um, invert the effect. Sorry for this, I will um, change this to invert. Uh, and again, mm, the way we treat the original alpha before this effect. So right now we have this alpha. You can see uh, we have transparencies here. With full alpha, we reduce alphas only to zero or one, depending on whether the pixel is selected or not. Uh, the whole selection in the Luma channel, and again, the Luma um, fully opaque or fu fully transparent. That's it. Okay. Now we have EFX Alpha Salt and Pepper. This is a um, result of a, a difference mat uh, on a shot. So basically we had uh, soldiers on the horses uh, riding through an image and we had a clean plate of this image and these are um, the differences between those two plates. If you've ever used difference mats, you probably know this result. As a matter of fact, these are quite easy to spot as obviously a single pixel alone is false and we want to get rid of it. So, salt and pepper. Already uh, some of the pixels are gone. Let's look here. So basically right now all the pixels that are alone uh, are unique among all of the neighbors. Uh, are removed. For instance, these stayed here because, uh, well, they're not that unique, right? They have a single neighbor uh, that looks the same. That's why we have the slider of similar neighbors. If we increase it to one, these will uh, disappear because uh, right now one neighbor is allowed to be similar to our to still be and our pixel will still be considered an island or a hole. Uh, right now here we have two neighbors so if we increase uh, to two these will disappear. This one does not disappear because this one had actually three neighbors um, similar so we can increase it to three and boom that's what we get. It already is a lot cleaner. Uh, it removes the islands as well as uh, patches up holes in the image, just depending on how many neighbors of what kind the pixel has. Uh, this is a threshold of how much similar the pixels have to be to be considered the same. So if we increase uh, this threshold, you see that um, more pixels uh, show up so they don't get removed. Uh, and this uh, setting is basically mm, like this. Mm, if we have a hole, then theoretically uh, this does not have a color information if it's fully transparent. So if you want to patch that hole up, uh, you have to recreate the color. Uh, but 
the hole doesn't necessarily have to be fully transparent. It can have an alpha of, I don't know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And if it does have an alpha, it also has an alpha uh, color channel, color data. So we can use this color data instead of uh, interpolating uh, the color from the neighbors. And this is the threshold that tells that if the original alpha of the pixel, of a hole, uh, was higher than this, 0 0.1, we can trust the color, color data that is uh, stored in this pixel and use it. If the alpha is, was lower than uh, this value, then we cannot uh, trust this color data and we have to recreate it from the neighbors. And to clean this image more, we could duplicate the effect, duplicate again and again. So here's where uh, the second plugin comes in, salt and pepper times five. It's exactly the same, uh, just with one sweep it applies the effect five times. So if you double that, that's ten times, fifteen times. And as you can see from the original, that's actually something we could use uh, right there. Okay. Okay, uh, this alpha select plugin comes free. You can download it freely from the website, just to remind you what it does. If you have a layer that has full transparency, full opacity and everything in between, uh, you can actually select the parts that you want. The logical part would be to disregard anything below a certain level of alpha. Uh, but then again, you can also disregard anything above a cer certain level of alpha and just play it with it like this. And of course we have invert, yes, no, uh, and the way to deal with the original alpha. We can leave it as it was, so we selected not fully opaque pixels and in the resulting selection they are still not fully opaque. We can use the selection as alpha or as luma. Mm, or we can uh, get these pixels as selections and then turn their alpha into full alpha. Disregarding the original data but having the selection there for us and also as a full luma channel mm, in comparison to the uh, luma channel. Uh, this is a fully selected uh, pixel. Alpha streaks. Uh, this filter is sort of like salt and pepper but I've written it to work with my other uh, plugins working with render elements from 3D applications when very often after working with these elements we are left with alpha that has islands of rows of pixels um, either opaque or rows of pixels uh, as a whole and this plugin actually instead of uh, searching for single pixels uh, searches for rows or columns and those are single pixel rows or two pixel rows uh, you might think it works the same as salt and pepper but it doesn't if we double 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 it a couple of times you can see that there are some strange things left uh, it's just a different algorithm for uh, mainly working with render elements and selections based on render elements.